adding additional stress on resources and increasing the potential for territorial conflicts and tensions. Pakistan, already challenged by overwhelmed threats to stability and progress, just cannot afford another destabilizing factor. Although climate change is one of the biggest risks Pakistan is currently facing, but with risks, there are also opportunities. One is uh, adaptation. You adapt it, that means you change your crop patterns and you uh, create uh, more um, reservoirs for water, uh, conservation and things like that and the other side you also have mitigation factors and how to mitigate the global warming uh, and that is uh, the emissions that, that uh, the greenhouse gases that are being created including in Pakistan we, we have to deal with them very effectively. The emergence of carbon financing facilities and technological advancement in renewable energies provide an excellent opportunity to Pakistan to decarbonize its economy, invest in clean technologies, and reduce the dependence on foreign oil. In the context of clean development mechanism uh, provided for by IPCC, we have opportunities to opt for, say, hydropower generation or wind energy and actually capitalize in terms of cash inputs or capital inputs from more developed countries. However, in terms of incorporating the renewable energy into our energy mix, some creative thinking has to be done and even a restructuring of clean development mechanism where opportunities that are available to us in Pakistan in terms of hydro and wind can be utilized more effectively to our benefit and to the benefit of the global environment. If you are uh, creating new technologies, manufacturing new, new, new turbines, um, planting new energy products, uh, what you're doing is creating employment. And so, so the whole renewable energy sector is the future of economic growth and a sustainable economic growth for which I think we should all focus on. While the government bears primary responsibility to tackle this developing situation, the local organizations, corporations, academia and media must play an equally important role to collectively make this effort a success. LEAD Pakistan has been increasingly active on the climate change agenda since 2007 through a range of capacity building, research and networking interventions, LEAD has been convening a wide array of stakeholders on the climate change agenda in Pakistan and has evolved a five-year climate action program to address local response needs. There are seven specific areas that require attention and that is very important for us to see that where the lead is spearheading this exercise. One is dealing with water issues. Second is energy, particularly alternative energy issues. And then third is the food security issues. If you look closely, all these things, all these three, constitute a triangle. They're closely linked with each other and they have a bearing on each other. Then accumulatively they result in three other elements. One is they have direct impact on human health, the health of our population, people at large. Then they have effect on our disasters, their periodicity, their ferocity, their uh, frequency. And then of course they have an impact on our ecosystems, the way we use them, the way we benefit from them, the way we harness them. And any sudden changes will finally result into another element and that we see the beginnings of that, that happening, that is mass migration. These seven are areas of LEED's core action on climate. And in all those we have undertaken research, we have undertaken capacity building, and training and we have undertaken institutional development uh, of our partners. Leaderships play the most vital role in shaping up the future of any nation but what we face is beyond borders and so are the responsibilities. It's not just the job of media, academia, corporations and organizations to fight challenges. It's every human being's duty to contribute in this fight against global warming because each one of us can conserve energy, not only to stabilize our present, but to save it for the future. A future 
that is yet to come.